Even though we've been seeing light rain and mist for much of the morning hours and now into early this afternoon, rainfall amounts have been very light, only totaling uh, a tenth to perhaps 15 hundredths of an inch of rainfall. And we're still seeing those light showers here passing through our area and continuing to move to the east. This is the back edge of the first batch of wet weather uh, making its way into eastern Connecticut and central Massachusetts off the twin forks of Long Island. So over the next couple of hours, we'll be drying out from west to east, at least for a time. There may be one more round here. We've got this front approaching today that's the result of these showers. Arctic blast Sunday. Wait till you see the temperatures. It'll feel like a January day. Not only temperatures, but the wind chill. And then latest on this Wednesday storm. It's actually Tuesday night into Wednesday. Very busy travel day. And we want to give you as much warning as possible. If we were to see some impact from this coastal storm, uh, what it may mean for your travel plans on that day. But our temperatures right now under this light rain, Actually, not too far off from average. Upper 40s to lower 50s. Providence, Newport, and Westerly. 46 in Smithfield right now. 49 in Taunton, about 50 New Bedford. And as we take a look at the wider view here, you can see where uh, showers again have been passing through this morning. Cold front off to our west has to move through. And you can see a second round of showers. So round one exiting the area right now. Round two sitting over western Pennsylvania and the eastern Great Lakes. Most of our computer models have a lot of this drying up before it reaches us, but we'll have at least the chance for an additional brief shower in the first part of the night tonight. I'm going to time that out for you, but I do think we'll be mostly cloudy and drier for the evening commute tonight. Temperatures between 46 and 50. In fact, here's the future cast for the rest of the day. Mostly cloudy skies early this evening. You have outdoor plans. Maybe you're running out to dinner and a movie. Should be good. 8 30, 9 o'clock in the evening. After 10, 11 o'clock, that's when we'll have that chance for a quick shower. Skies will clear out by dawn tomorrow morning. We'll be back to sunshine and Saturday's a breezy day. Highs in the 40s for one more day before we get that shot of very cold air. So rest of today about 50 degrees. Showers ending for this afternoon, mostly cloudy. 39 overnight tonight, a brief shower early, then that late clearing, and then tomorrow's high near 45. Cool, breezy, dry, and bright. Want to give you a sense of some of the temperatures as we head into Saturday night and Sunday and that cold air comes in. So already down to the lower 30s by 8 o'clock in the evening on Saturday and those temperatures uh, by Sunday morning will be into the lower 20s. The winds will be very busy on Sunday and so that 33 degree high for Sunday afternoon is actually going to feel something like this. Look at these wind chill values. 12 above at 8 a.m. 22 the wind chill at 2 in the afternoon and for the Pats game Sunday evening wind chills in the single digits and lower teens. Monday's another cold one. Tuesday looks dry during the day. Rain moving in Tuesday night into Wednesday. Again, it's a potential coastal storm. We're going to be answering questions over the coming days as we get more information in on the track timing and intensity of the storm. Right now, it looks like it'll be close enough to us to bring a cold rain. Maybe if it tracks just right, some wet snow to parts of our area. I think a higher chance for northern New England than around here. Uh, the good news is right now, it looks like it'll still be out of here in time for Thanksgiving, just dry and chilly for your turkey day. Okay. Keep us